Hey there, I'm Amy from thecrazycraftlady.com and welcome to Unpopular Opinions on Books, Crafting Edition. All right, so I already know, I can already sense the negative comments are coming. Come at me. I'm standing firm in my position when it comes to books and home decor. So hear me out. One, I'm a pretty avid reader. I also really, really like paper books. I just can't get into like the digital e-readers. I do like my audiobooks from time to time, but I love the feeling of paper in my hand and physically turning the page. I'm just like a visual learner. It's just how I roll. I also really like collecting books and I really like bookshelves and like, you know, hashtag shelfie, but it doesn't like the book bindings don't always match your home decor, especially us neutral decor lovers, right? So here are my unpopular opinions and Take it or leave it. One, I am not opposed to displaying books on my bookshelf backwards. I do this all the time, especially with hardcover books that have like brighter bindings or if it's just like topics that I don't necessarily like want displayed on my shelves, right? Backwards. I often like group my books by like genre anyway. So like I know what I have. Like I don't care if no one else can like decipher my like book sorting system what matters is I know what's what and where so I will display books backwards I also am hopping on the bandwagon today of fabric covered books so this video is a shout out to my sister who sent me an Etsy link to it was like three books like three fabric covered like hardcover books right and it was $50 or something outrageous and like more power to the Etsy seller because she had phenomenal ratings and very satisfied customers and I understand there are people out there that are willing to pay $50 for something like that. I am not one of those people. So I'm going to show you the really, really super quick, fast way to uh, fabric cover books so that you can have like neutral looking filler for your bookshelves. I want to talk about where to buy books. First of all, I love the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Store has a phenomenal selection of books. Lately I've seen a lot of paperback Bibles, but usually they have hardcover books too. And surprisingly, I found some really good reads. Like I just finished, what did I just finish? Oh, I just finished reading like it was a biography. No, it was written by a first lady. Um, and it was a really good book and I really enjoyed it. Um, but you can get like all sorts of books for a buck at your Dollar Tree. Um, obviously thrift stores, garage sales, that, that type of thing. And then also check with your local library system. I know, um, here I'm in the Minneapolis St. Paul area and like the Hennepin County library system will do like semi-annual book sales where like every book is a buck or something. So you can really stock up, especially if you have like a brand new bookshelf that you want to fill quickly. It's a great option. So I made this book stack using, um, kind of like this linen looking fabric. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I'll try to find a link to it if I can. Otherwise, if you don't want to go to the craft store and buy fabric, drop cloth fabric is a phenomenal option. So go to like Home Depot or Lowe's and get the canvas drop cloths that you would use, you know, for a painting project and cut that up and you can use that for this project as well. But enough talking, let's get making. This is like a super, super fast, quick and easy project. And I hope you like it. Let's get making. All right, so here I have my stack of Dollar Tree hardcover book finds. I apologize in advance to the authors of these books. No offense to your books, but I'm removing the dust jacket and I'm going to give them a makeover. So I just have this fabric that I bought at Hobby Lobby. It's like a linen fabric. You just want to make sure that it's thick enough that like if there's a darker bright cover colored book cover, it's not going to show through. So you want like a nice solid thick fabric, which isn't always the cheapest. I don't think this was super cheap per yard, um, but drop cloth is a great option as well. So I'm just going to lay my book out on this fabric and cut a piece of fabric about one inch larger than my book book cover in all directions. So top, bottom, left, right, I want about an extra inch in all directions. I'm going to trim off that frayed edge as well. I just want everything nice and crisp with straight lines all the way around. All right, then I'm going to center the spine of my book on my fabric 
that's laid flat on my work surface. And then I'm just going to start on one side and then work over to the other side. So I'm just going to kind of fold my fabric flat and kind of figure out, okay, that's about how much fabric I need on that right side. So apply a line of hot glue to the right edge of the fabric and then fold it over onto the inside of the right side of the book cover. Then flip the book over and repeat the process on the left side. And you're going to want to pull the fabric taut as you lay it over the book cover because you want it to be nice and smooth when the book is closed. So there we go. We're off to a nice start. I've got a nice smooth cover. And now we got to do all the edges in the corners. So I start by trimming at the spine two little slits, like right where the corners of the spine meet the front and back cover. From there, I can then fold up all my edges and secure all my corners. So I'm going to start on the bottom right and smooth that, that short edge, that right edge in. Then I'm going to cut a triangle of fabric out of that bottom right hand corner because I don't want fabric bunching up on my corner of my book. So secure that bottom corner nice and tight. So pull nice and tight every time that you lay down your fabric onto the hot glue. Then kind of pinch in that bottom corner because you want a nice rounded corner and then secure with more hot glue. This way you don't have any of that book cover poking through and the fabric folds over really nicely. It makes a nice little 45 degree edge there. And then you can hot glue that bottom piece of fabric. Remember to pull tight and smooth out. So this process is going to get repeated on the other side of the book. The same thing, folding, cutting that triangle out of the bottom corner, folding up the corner, making sure that you wrap in all those edges on the corner so it's nice and smooth, and then glue the bottom strip. Then you have to deal with the book spine, which isn't as terrifying as it seems. So you're going to have this little tail end poking out of the spine of your book. So you're going to trim that down just so it's long enough to cover the exposed part of that book cover, right? You don't want it to cover onto and you don't want to be gluing onto the pages of the book. So about a quarter of an inch was right for most of my books. And then you're going to add hot glue. So just apply a hot glue right there onto the part of the book spine but not onto the pages if you can. It's not the end of the world if it does. And then just take, you know, your fingernail and really press down really firmly, really push in there to get that fabric to stick and that will cover up your entire book cover. And then you should be able to open the book no problem, hopefully if you didn't get glue on the pages. But like I said, it's not the end of the world if you do. And then you're just going to repeat that process on the other uh, side of the book by trimming the corners and folding over the edges and then cleaning up the spine on the other end of the book. But that is it. Super simple, super easy, and I think totally worth it because I spent, yeah, like $7 on books at the dollar store. This was, I bought these books pre-price hike, so they were a dollar each and then a few bucks on fabric. And I have this cute little neutral looking, for all of us neutral farmhouse lovers, neutral little stack of books that I actually displayed on the shelf in our living room. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, happy making.